Hello everybody. We're starting a new project today and it's the uh, rebuilding of a A6 intruder. It's a big bugger, flies really nice, but unfortunately uh, the couple of prototypes that we built had uh, slight problems. One was the uh, CG was out, the second one was caused due to elevator failure. I believe it was a, a servo wire. Anyhow, what we're going to do is something a little different. We're going to lay up the molds because I've already got the molds done three or four years ago. But what we're going to do is try and graft the tail of both planes to new bodies. <laughs> I guess that's the best way of saying it. So anyhow, um, it's, I've not done it before. We get, I, I'm going to uh, attempt to do it and uh, this video will be the beginnings of that so the next couple of videos should be fun where we uh, attempt this and see if we can save ourselves a lot of work that way if it works i don't have to build a new tail and uh, save a lot of money materials time and so forth so let's get cracking All right, fellas, uh, this is the number one fuselage. It was the prototype. It's uh, in great shape from about here all the way back. All the uh, mechanicals are in there. They're nice and solid. The tails are good. So we're going to try and do something a little different. We're going to lay up the mold from here to the nose. And then we're going to graft the two sections together. And we'll have to get a definite straight cut and then we can epoxy and tape it on the inside and it'll be as good as new because this mold is actually done in i think 14 pieces or something but anyhow we have a front and a back complete top and bottom left right this tail section obviously is painted it's got decals on it so uh, we're going to strip all the junk out obviously take we've taken the uh, elevators off those pieces which stick out, the rudder, etc. Problem is, the molds are designed to fit, obviously, with an unpainted fuselage. So the paint and the decals, which I really don't want to move, remove, is going to cause a very, very tight fit. So with a nice sharp pencil, I'm simply going to come along, get as absolute close to this edge as I can. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to be cutting through some decals, but no problem. I have uh, another set of them. Got them from uh, Cali Graphics, and uh, she does a wonderful job. All right, fellas, I, uh, I've got that cut. It's a little proud right now. It needs a little bit of a sending, which is fine. And uh, the seams have just tightened right up. So uh, I'm really pleased with it. So it looks like we're going to be able to uh, splice the mold. So I'm just going to add the other section on right now so you can see what I'm about to do. Okay, we have a plan. So this is the top of the mold. So what I'm going to do, once they're all wax prepared and everything, I'm going to lay this entire section up as one. And when I'm laying it up, I'm going to lay it up into this. So I'm going to have basically a nice heavy duty seam cloth around here, which will hold the majority of it. Because this is bigger than this, so it's better to do the top first and get the majority of this. Then I'll lay the bottom mold up separately which is the normal way we do it and when i'm joining that together i'll goop around the seams which we usually do and then i'll goop here with some glue so it comes in closes up clamps up 
and then later on we'll cut out the uh, canopy which will allow me to get in here deep and put some tape on here and that will give me complete closure for the uh, rear end so that's the plan so next I'm gonna uh, inspect these molds clean them up get them waxed they've already been waxed I guess when I put them away that's probably two years ago so I'm going to re-wax them and then uh, put the PVA on and then lay them up probably in a couple of days. So these are all the bits and pieces uh, which are totally reusable. They're in uh, excellent or near perfect condition. Absolutely no slop on that. This, uh, by the way, is titanium tubing uh, to keep the tail light because this extends all the way in and uh, can get heavy. We've got enough weight at the back with these servos. Uh, this is a joiner, just so you know, so that when it's together, that carbon fiber goes in between both of them. It helps stabilize them when in flight. Then we'll uh, recut the uh, rudder hinges out. I showed you that in uh, the Takano video. I'll show you again when I do it, which will be a few weeks from now, I would imagine. And then we can replace the hinges. And I think we'll go with some heavier duty hinges. So that's the uh, pieces we've salvaged. We've also salvaged the entire tail. So uh, we're good to go.